So Vikings, welcome back to Valhalla and we have some uh, good stuff today and we also, I, I need some help from you guys as you have helped me a lot before so uh, if you are into you know some advanced stuff in 3D printing DIY content then uh, yeah follow along and uh, we have movements, we have quick movements on the VBaby testing it 200 millimeter a second running quick 3000 axle and um yeah just uh keep on watching and you'll see all that and i want to go also also into some details uh, on the on the wee baby and ask for some uh, suggestions from you guys on the x carrier so let's move on so first of all let me talk a little bit about the detailing because I mean, I do a lot of stuff that you don't see, right? Uh, at this point, I've uh, also even um, infor reinforced the motor brackets even more. One extra screw here, some more material. Same at this corner, uh, some more material here. Uh, reinforced also even more here, this face over there. And um, yeah, and also made some small changes to the uh, to the worm gear bracket so I have some um, some guides here so that you are you can you cannot place it uh, skewed and now it's got to be perpendicular that's important so we have that going on and um, everything just coming in coming together very nicely also made some small changes here some more material as yeah why not uh, also on this corner that's just old stuff uh, boring but um, it's important you know do this detailing I mean one millimeter one millimeter here and there can be make a di big difference also we have um, the C I think the C design came out great for, with help from you guys I'm very happy with the, how the C lift works now and I'm only gonna detail this tensioner up here so we can tension the belt also. And we're lifting on both sides. We are going to do that because when we load the build plate with like a kilo of filament, we don't want it to tilt. We need to look at the X carrier, okay? So let's open the X carrier. We already have it open here. And it's kind of, uh, I don't know if this work works at all. I'm gonna show you, I'm printing this is the blue part which is printing right now and then we also have um, on the other printer we have this um, uh, the red part so going back to the assembly this blue part blue parts here and the red red part are printing now to see if those, those fit together because i need to figure out the tolerances and so uh, yeah and we are using let's go into analysis and see what's going on here so um, i'm going to use a 30 uh, at um a 30 blower for this <laughs> let me show you the 30 blower it's quite funny this is <laughs> very small but it's all we need i think i don't know it might not <laughs> be enough but let's just try okay so this the opening on this uh, blower is only 21 millimeter in the length and 8 millimeter in the width so yeah and that is what also you can see this opening is this is exactly 21 by 8 I'm gonna have, have that standing on top of this guy so we need a bracket for that later and then, then we blow straight down here and going inside the air will come down here and bump up here out here into this blue part so let's just have a look at the blue part so let's isolate that so this is the blue part and the air coming in and it needs to exit around the the heat sink so it comes out straight um, towards us now 
So what do you think about this? Is it okay? I don't know if it works, but let's just assemble it and see, okay. And um, I'm thinking we need, I'm gonna have an M4 nut inside this space with an M4 screw coming down from the top. M4 going down into the blue part through the red and into the blue and uh, into the nut and just uh, holding the whole hotten in place and um, this is feedback you can help me with um, anyway if it works out it will be easy to change this whole blue part then we can have several you know hotens uh, just ready to uh, quick swap and i want the layer fans on the side here somewhere that's also coming later if you have any ideas on how to place the layer fans or where to place them then leave me a comment below yeah so this is what i have going on and it's kind of tough at this point because everything is so small and it needs to be small so we don't have much space to work with i'm thinking of though i'm thinking of placing the nut here so by placing the nut there we don't have to worry about access from this side which is kind of you know we need the space on the sides here i think if we want the layer fans on the side here and uh, that should be okay because this space is open to place the nut and uh, yeah so what do you think about the progress for the the x carrier um should be easy to to assemble and uh, one screw only to keep it in place and where to place the the filament fans i'm thinking on the side here somewhere on the side here and attached to the red part so they will always be on the red part which makes it easier for us to just quick swap hot dance if we want a bigger nozzle a hard nozzle and so on we can have yeah just one screw and then just quick swap that would be nice or what do you think what uh, what are your thoughts around this i'm uh, i'm just rambling now and um because i'm unsure of where to go from here so no further ado we i guess you guys want to have a look at the um, the v baby uh, running at 2000 if you want more of this kind of content please follow along I'm gonna place a card up here somewhere for another video for you to watch and also there's gonna be a card for the whole series and uh, so subscribe like and uh, enjoy and uh, happy printing we are going to run up to 200 millimeter a second starting at 60 I'm going to 100. Also doing some C movement. Then we're going 150. And then we're going 200. Now it's 200. We also have high acceleration. We have 3000 in acceleration. We are doing um, 20 in jerk just to stress the machine. There are some resonance. I guess the idlers need some grease also. This is, seems very quick. Changes quickly. Direction. The 
seems to endure quite high acceleration and dirt at this speed, which is good. So I'm gonna stress test this um, for quite some time and uh, yeah, have a look at the mechanical parts and see.